Hello, it's Simply Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, today, I just really want to, I really want to, I really want to talk. I really want to chat, you know. Um, my last video was definitely something that, it was just so, that's the kind of stuff that I really like to talk about. That's how I really want to be on this channel. Like, that's who I am. That's what I, that's what I do. That's what makes me fulfilled is teaching others everything that I've learned. And I think helping people in that way. And this also helps me coming online and talking to a camera about the things that I've learned and maybe helping somebody else is also therapeutic for me. And it's the end of the day. And I said, you know, I have to, I have to sow a seed today. I have to sow a seed. I have to show up for myself and I need to film a video. And it's the end of the year and I don't know around the holidays I always get so down I don't know why but I can say one thing I don't feel down about is this new year 2022 not because of oh I think I'm gonna accomplish so much really just because like I said in my last video this past year I think was just a, a year of growth I had to grow I had to make the mistakes I had to learn the lessons I had to go through those challenges and I just feel as though I'm gonna blossom i was thinking about this well as i was driving the other day and i i just was sitting and i was just at peace and i said nicole it's time to soar it's time to soar and do the things that you want to do it's time to follow your passions and stop giving into self-doubt i know i said in my last video that i struggle with self-doubt but it's to the point where I, it's like if I had just given the energy that I gave to doubt, if I had given that to my dreams, to my passions, to my work, to my purpose, I could have been, I could be so much further. And it just bothers me every time I think about it. I'm like, you spend so much time comparing yourself. You spend so much time doubting yourself, not believing, not having faith. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. It's time to soar, block out the distractions, know your worth. We don't beg. I just upload a picture to Instagram and I think the caption I found it somewhere the caption said faith never worries and value never begs and I think that's very important uh, one thing that I was reminded of at the end of this year was the fact that we don't need anybody else like in our life like anything that I want to do like it's, it's possible for me to enjoy life alone it's possible for me to have quality time with myself we don't always need a partner or a significant other or even friends to to enjoy life to do things with to travel with to go and experience life with stop waiting for somebody else to come along to do that do that now while even if it's, it's by yourself do that um that's what I was reminded of because I, I feel like subconsciously I was thinking, you know, I really need someone else in my life in order to do things, in order to do fun things and to enjoy life because we see it on social media so much where relationships is what gets glorified, but it's never being single or being alone. Another thing is, <clears throat> what I think, what do they say? Like, I, I made it a video, like being alone, but not feeling lonely, understanding that if you have a friend in Jesus, you're never alone. We have to stop thinking like that stop thinking like that um going into this new year I am gonna I don't know if I'm gonna do this but I'm definitely am mindfully spending time with myself quality time with myself this is quality time with myself this right here is me showing up for myself for my purpose for my future but I'm, I'm gonna look and say look maybe once a month I'm gonna take myself out it don't, it don't have to be like on a date but I'm gonna do something for myself I'm gonna you know take, take myself to the movies which I've done amazing experience I'm gonna go to the movies by myself I'm gonna go bike riding by myself i'm gonna go on a hike by myself i'm gonna go to that brunch restaurant by myself i don't have to wait around for somebody to enjoy it with i was watching a, a video on it was like relationship advice and basically saying like when you get into a relationship you want to make sure that you have a life <laughs> and like before you get into a relationship have a life you know don't just be sitting around doing nothing waiting for that person to come along to do stuff with i kind of realized you know um Sometimes when I would go out with people, I, would, I wouldn't really feel like as comfortable, you know, because I wasn't used to it because I never just go out by myself and just treat myself. And I, it's like every time that I do something enjoyable, it shouldn't always be with another person. Stop waiting on the other person to go to that nice restaurant, whether it's a friend or just or, you know, to go to that nice restaurant or to go to brunch or to go for drinks. Take yourself out. That's what I'm doing. I'm literally was reminded like, Nicole, in life, all you need is you. You really only need yourself. You can do it. Like I had to just tell myself, 
you can do this. Yes, sometimes you may be isolated and, and, that, and that's okay. That's how we felt in the summertime. You guys saw in the summertime, I made a whole, I uh, mean, like a few videos about it, about how I was isolated, but I used that time to learn about myself and to grow. And I also was reminded of, you know, you got to separate in order to elevate. And I think this kind of goes into being alone, like separate yourself. You're going to separate. You're not going to, I know I want to elevate in life, which means you, you cannot be with the masses. You can't be fitting in with everybody else because then you'll just be just an ordinary person and I don't know about you but I don't want an ordinary life I don't want ordinary outcomes I want the abundant life that I that is for me that the universe has for me and but that takes work that takes discipline that takes separation and so I just had to remind myself <laughs> I just keep saying that I just had to that's what I that's what I had to tell myself I'm like stop waiting on other people to do stuff you can do it and it really goes back into self-worth um and self-love so i think i'm really focusing on too like just mentally like in the new year is doing the work and understanding because i was just watching a video and i don't know if i said this but i really like watching videos like this that are helping people that are teaching people and it's only right for me to do it this is what i want to do but i was watching one of these self self-help videos um, and I would just, I'll, I will literally just sit all day and just watch a video. Like, it's just so therapeutic. But, and one of my favorite life coaches, and she was talking about just how much, how much it's important that we heal our pain as individuals. We don't realize how much pain we've been. Everybody has been through pain. It's inevitable through life. People treat us a certain way. It hurts us. It harms us. But we don't really heal from it. And I've realized that there are, I they, like I do sometimes operate from insecurities. I do have experiences in the past that have hurt me, that have altered the way I look at myself, that have altered my self esteem. And I said it's time to stop blaming other people for that and take responsibility for that and heal that and work on that. And that's another thing I'm focusing on in the new year. I'm gonna stop doubting, stop questioning, and just put in the work and really invest in Nicole. Invest in what. God wants for Nicole and not all these distractions and the doubt and the worry and because that because because mm -mm, I did a lot of that you know this past year and it helped me back so much just in so many in so many aspects of life and so I'm just really ready and I hope this is, inspires and motivates you to just conquer 2022 just to conquer period um in the future and I hope you found this message inspirational and Happy New Year.